First off, I would like to uh, thank the University of Illinois for giving me the opportunity to become a, a great student athlete. And uh, also, I want to thank the current coaching staff and the past coaching staff. Uh, they've been very supportive of my uh, collegiate career. And also, uh, I just want to give a special thanks to uh, my position coach, uh, Coach Gilmore. He's been there since day one, and uh, he's been like a father to me. So I thank him for everything he's done for me. Um, and I can't say enough to the extremely uh, loyal fans and the entire athletic department um, for uh, making my college experience an uh, unforgettable one. And uh, this time, it's, it's a very important time for me and my family. I look forward to the journey and uh, expect nothing but greatness on and off the field. And also, uh, I want to uh, give great thanks to my father for being an incredible uh, teacher and uh, teaching me valuable life lessons that I, I will uh, forever uh, be instilled in me. And also, uh, and also I want to thank just everyone that has ever been there for me and you know, I had a, had a helping hand in, in what I've done here at the University of Illinois. And um, without further ado, I uh, decided to forego my senior year and enter the uh, 2013 NFL draft. And I just want to uh, give thanks to God and uh, the University of Illinois, my coaches, my fans, and the athletic department. Thank you very much. What's this mean for your team? Is this a dream fulfilled to go to the next level? A dream fulfilled. Uh, been what I wanted to do since day one, since uh, I came to the uh, States, played football since I was seven. So I'm just living my dream. The decision to leave early's office is predicated on the fact that you probably think you're going to go pretty high in the draft. Have you talked to draft scouts and, and people get an idea of where they think you'll go? Yeah, I heard some things uh, here, uh, third round, second round. But I mean, that's just all talk, to be honest with you. How does that compare to last year? Because last year you got some advice as well about where you could go. How does that compare with I mean, it's uh, a lot better information than the year before. So I mean, with this decision, uh, I mean, I just talked to my uh, family, and uh, you know, we just felt like this was the right time to get it done. What's your decision last year? To come uh, mainly, I wanted to help the team, and also I wanted to graduate, you know, have my degree, and just you know, be done. Say I did everything that I I set out to do. Pretty good history in the last couple of years of defensive linemen being taken pretty high. Who's left early? Does that give you some motivation in mind to follow in and continue that tradition? And Yes, it did. I mean, seeing Corey with, I mean, you know, seeing those guys go off and, you know, make millions of dollars, you know, and I've been in the room with them, played with them, lined up next to them. So I felt like it was my turn. And, you know, I just try to uh, imitate everything they did and just, you know, go out there and live it all on the field. You'll have pro days in the combine coming up. Where are you going to be working out and you know, what are your plans? Our plan is probably going to be down in South Florida, down in Boca training with our XP sports. So that's what I plan on being, working out and coming back for pro day and, you know, and just performing well. Did you uh, hire an agent and everything already? Or? Um, yeah, me and my father, you know, we, uh, we uh, signed with our agent already. So, you know, we're pretty much good on that. Have you talked to any of those guys that you played with for advice, how to handle these months leading up to the draft? Uh, yeah, I talked to them. Uh, I talked to... Uh, I actually talked to JB the other day, talked to uh, Corey a few months back. You know, they just told me, you know, with the process, you know, it's, you know, everything you can do for you. You know, you're working for yourself. You know, you're trying to better yourself. And, you know, you're going to hear a lot of things from other guys. And, you know, you just got to do what's right for you. So what's the key for you leading up to those pro days and kind of talking to the county? Uh, just going out, working hard every day, you know, just trying to climb up the uh, draft board. So just going out and putting the work I know and uh, hopefully, you know, go high. How do you think you fit at the NFL? What, what do you think your role will kind of be? Uh, I, I, honestly, I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> How did the way this season go impact your decision to leave early? I mean, the, this season, it, re it really didn't have anything to do with it because, uh, I mean, I've been here, what, four years now, and, I mean, I – I had success here, and I have, you know, seasons that we did have success. But, I mean, ultimately, I wanted to graduate, and I felt like I, I have done everything here that I possibly could have done in my career. So, I mean, it's just the right time. The season didn't really have nothing, not much to do with it at all. When would you say you made up your mind officially? 
Um, probably just, I mean, the thought has always been there. It's just, you know, discussing it with my, my folks and, you know, and just uh, seeing what they thought. And, you know, we thought it was the right time. So we just, you know. When do you graduate? Uh, tomorrow, actually. What's your degree? Uh, in communication. Is there a dream team on your list? Did you grow up rooting for a certain team? Uh, nah, I don't have a dream team. Uh, I used to be a Colts fan, so when Peyton Manning left, I, I left with him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you follow the Denver? Yeah, yeah, I'm a Denver fan right now. <laughs> Coach, why don't you come up? Uh, sure. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the team. And well, I think you were able to hear, um, you know, about, uh, about Akeem and what Akeem's all about. I think one of the first things that uh, that he mentioned was, uh, you know, about a year ago we were sitting in the office and and he had a decision to make again last year and he came back because he hadn't fulfilled all his dreams yet of getting a degree and doing things that he thought were necessary to be successful as a human being. That's what Akeem Spence is all about. He's going to be a successful human being because he has drive, he has determination, he understands how. Uh, how this, how life works, and he will be very successful in whatever he attempts to do uh, because he has that type of drive. He was one of those players that practiced hard every day. And, uh, you know, uh, I've tried to help him with uh, getting as much information as we possibly could um, so that he was making the, the, the educated decision that he needed to make for him and his family. And uh, there's no question that he's going to be successful. He's going to work extremely hard. And uh, I can tell you uh, just in the short year that I've been with him that uh, he'll be uh, successful at the next level. What's the feedback you've been receiving about what his position can be? Basically what Akeem said. I mean, I think that uh, he's going to have an opportunity to be uh, selected, and, and it's how he does in the next couple months and how well he does. Uh, with the workouts, but uh, you know, I think that uh, his, uh, you know, his resume, which is the film, shows it. Shows what he can do. You've been around guys who in the NFL. You've been around Matt. You've been around Akeem. Where do you think he fits in the league and, and in this year's upcoming draft? Uh, you know, again, I've you know been around uh, some great ones, and and I really do believe that Akeem's got that drive. You know, that that extra. Um, I. You know, I believe that he, he knows what it takes. And, uh, heck, he got his degree in, in less than four years. And uh, I think that says a lot for him. And then it also says a lot for his work ethic because he's been on that football field uh, playing for the Illini. And uh, so I, I know he'll be successful. Last year's conversation, you probably wanted him back. This year, just a different conversation. Well, again, I, you know, I'm just talking to him and getting the information. Uh, is, is, is my job, sure. I, I mean, I'd like to keep everybody here. Uh, but he did do the ultimate, which is getting his degree. And that's what you're here to do as a student athlete. Um, and then he had to make the decision, he and his family. So I, I thought it was my, my job to make sure that we got him all the information so he could make an educated decision. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Jonathan will be back, and uh, you know, uh, his hasn't declared anything. We've talked, and and uh, he's excited about getting ready for next season. What does that mean for the team? Well, you know, again, I'm I'm into kids staying the whole time. Uh, I mean, that's what you know, that's what college football is all about. So uh, I'm I'm happy he's back, and you know, we're in the process of moving forward, and uh, it's all. It's not just about just about one person, it's about all of us. Uh, I've been happy the way the kids have worked out, the feedback that we've been getting, and uh, we're moving forward. I know you addressed some needs with your uh, signing class mm -hmm. coming into the spring. Did you have this in the back of your mind as a, to, to what else you need to? Oh yeah, had to, had to. Had to get some players in here in January so that we could uh, actually practice. Uh, out there on the football field, and uh, we knew that we needed uh, all positions. You can see we just didn't go to one. It was all positions. So uh, glad to have those five, and, you know, we're excited about uh, January 14th getting here. Okay. 
whoever you've been, you've had kids go to the NFL. What's your advice uh, for Akeem as he goes forward in these next couple months? What's Akeem? I think Keith said it himself when he stood up here. He's going to work hard. Uh, he's not going to uh, take anything for granted. And, uh, and I know Akeem will work hard. There's no question about it. You can just look at him uh, with what he does in the weight room and running. So uh, he'll, he knows how to work. There's no question.